Hello friends, Sam here. So today uh, I am taking most frequently asked question. Whenever I talk about Salesforce as one of my skill, so people ask me that how I can get into learning Salesforce. Does it require any prerequisite to get into that? I am coming from non-IT background. So will I able to really get into Salesforce or not? Okay, I have created already videos around each and every question separately. Okay, but I thought let me have the consolidated video which will answer everything related to your Salesforce learning. Okay, first thing let me clarify. Salesforce is nothing but CRM product, customer relationship management product. Okay. Now, whenever you say Salesforce learning, you want to learn Salesforce. So let me tell you that whenever somebody want to get into Salesforce admin, it does not require any prerequisite. You are coming from non IT background. You are coming from become background. You are coming from marketing background. You are coming from mechanical engineering background. You can you are coming from any damn background doesn't matter that will be your domain knowledge that is not west my dear friends okay whatever background you have that is your domain knowledge and you carry that and add salesforce administration and you can work as salesforce administrator definitely so whoever coming from non it background they don't have programming knowledge they don't have rather it concepts and all they can surely get into Salesforce admin. Let me tell you Salesforce is the best IT product to enter into the IT industry for non IT folks. Whoever are afraid of coding and afraid of core IT products, they can simply get into Salesforce administration. That's what is there. Now, whenever you want to get into Salesforce administration. Now, this video I am not making for really uh, somebody who wanted to be conservative in their career. Okay, I want you to target something big. Why I am selling saying so? See, whenever I say Salesforce administrator, number of opportunities in the market are limited. So even if you think it's an easy path, okay, so everybody will get into that. So it is a bit saturated area, you know. Many people are there in the industry who possess Salesforce administration skill right so naturally competition is more right so naturally number of opportunities are less you know because if you see salesforce opportunities you will see most of the opportunities are in salesforce development and salesforce lightning this is what is development role so i always suggest if you can stretch yourself target for salesforce developer role now the question is for admin, I told you that it does not require any uh, prerequisite, but for development, there is some prerequisite, but that is awareness, my dear friend, that is knowledge. Okay. So whenever I conduct my live program, I conduct my 2.5 months live program on Salesforce. Uh, every weekday I conduct like one hour, one, one and a half hour class and that goes for 2.5 months. So many people ask me, I'm not good in coding. I don't want to get into coding. Trust me, coding in Salesforce is as not as complex like Java coding or .NET coding or C Sharp coding and all that, you know. So it's not that much complex, you know, it's pretty easy. And to get into that, it just requires IT basics and Java basics, which is knowledge not skill. So I always take it as a challenge and I give them some pre-training stuff which is the knowledge before they get into my program. So that is possible. You have to stretch yourself and you have to get into Salesforce developer role. Now what is the beauty of that? Twofold advantages. Whenever you get into learning of Salesforce development, admin is any way first step for that. So anyway you will be like eligible for admin role also and developer role also. So developers can apply for both administrator and developer. So it is like you will have ample amount of opportunities, you know, very big set of developer opportunities and whatever administrator opportunities that also you can apply. So if you are a developer, 
train uh, uh, person candidate and suppose you get a job in administration accept that you never know that uh, they will up, uh, they will uplift you to the developer role you know you never know that but always target developer role okay and if you get into the quality training definitely that is possible okay you need to follow the road map you know proper road map now how much time it requires suppose you are now ready to get into salesforce you decided that sam you said so i'm ready to learn salesforce so how much time it takes now it depends on what mode you choose okay generally if people ask me how do you offer you tell me how do you offer so i tell them that i offer two flavors you know different modes scope is same whatever knowledge i am giving whatever uh, you can say that scope is there that is same so one mode i give to people is a live program it is complete hand holding step by step and for 2.5 months every day i do conduct session for them then there is a lab for them they have to spend time in the lab just like physical lab i do have a virtual lab where the, where all batch people collaborate with each other they talk to each other and actually they perform the labs every day i am giving them assignments and they do uh, on assignment they submit that assignment in the system and the beauty is you will get recording access of each and every session for life long even after training i don't revoke that from you so that is what one mode i offer that it will take 2.5 months how much daily uh, commitment 2 hours you need to give one one hour one and a half hour you are spending with me in session that is knowledge giving and demonstration session and second one maybe half an hour 45 minutes you need to spend on working on the daily challenges i call it as a challenges you know so i give open challenge open book challenge open game that i call it as that kind of challenges where you can refer recording you can refer my uh, class notes and everything and then you can complete that and other kind of challenges i give blind games blind game means you are not allowed to refer class notes you are not allowed to refer the replay of my sessions and you have to do that blind games that's what okay people really love that live program and it is complete hand holding you are surrounded with other people as well so it is very collaborative interactive and engaged kind of program but sometime what happens so you have to give 2 hours every day and it will take around 2.5 months many people claim to complete that live program in 30 days and 40 days uh, all due respect to every trainer other trainer they do have their own style you know if you talk about me i always require this much time to train you properly okay so there is no shortcut for that sometime i overshoot this 2.5 months as well i don't bother as long as you are learning it effectively okay so let me tell you very frankly sometime it gets overshooted beyond this 2.5 months as well so many people contacts me saying that sam i don't have patience to wait for 2.5 months sorry but i do have so much time to invo uh, invest right away i can give 4 hours you are saying 2 hours i can give 4 hours can i crunch this program in one month without compromising the quality i give them another mode which is flexi mentoring mode in this mode they will get full flexibility of timing they can decide how much time they want to spend every day and they have to uh, just complete that program in one month without compromising the quality my dear friends only thing is that they have to be self discipline in taking uh, sessions and completing assignments and all that just like live programs i don't uh, do the hand holding or i don't be behind them to uh, get the assignments done and all so that doesn't happen but they have to be self discipline to complete that if you have that self discipline if you want a time flexibility people choose this flexi mentoring mode so straight away answer to your question friends how much time it require to learn salesforce completely now there are three modules salesforce admin salesforce development and salesforce lightning i feel at least whenever you are targeting developer role this two are must for you you need to learn in admin you need to learn various configurations and all that in development you learn apex coding 
विजुअल फोर्स पेज डेवलपमेंट यू लर्न अबाउट ट्रिगर डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑल्सो दैट्स वॉट यू लर्न हियर सो एपेक्स कोडिंग एंड वी एप पेजेस विजुअल फोर्स पेजेस दिस इज वॉट यू लर्न इन द डेवलपमेंट सो दिस टू आर मस्ट विच विल रिक्वायर टू पॉइंट फाइव मंथ्स इफ यू एड दिस वन मे बी यू कैन कंसिडर थ्री मंथ एज वेल लाइटनिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड लाइटनिंग इज लाइक अनदर एक्सपीरियंस इन सेल्स फोर्स इन केस इफ यूर कंपनी इज वर्किंग ऑन लाइटनिंग यू मे अपग्रेड दैट टू लाइटनिंग अदरवाइज नॉट नीडेड ओके अदरवाइज क्लासिक that is the older experience of salesforce that's a foundation of salesforce and that's the best way to get into the learning from classic okay then you can upgrade to lightning if your company want that so that is the conclusion that 2.5 months it require if you spend 2 hours every day or it will require at least 1 month don't expect to learn salesforce in one week or two week or that time that time frame you know that can be just gaining the uh, bits and pieces here and there you know it's not a proper product learning product learning involves skill development it's not the information passing okay so you may listen a lot of videos and all that but that is information it's not a skill development skill development requires structured way to really learn that and this is purely career oriented programs i offer and that's what is the time required for that you know even after the training i give them like post training help for that i don't charge as of now but i give them like uh, how they can uh, uh, create their resume what kind of projects they can add i help them to develop that projects and all you know so it's like practically they have to be sound whenever they face interview in the it industry okay and as long as technical expertise is concerned even if this program is 2.5 month i give them like uh, 1.5 to 2 years of expertise in that through challenges and case studies and mini projects and all that i try to give you know and that that builds their expertise equivalent to 1.5 to 2 years of experience person that's what okay so that's how it is all depend on you that how you want to Uh, learn sales force it is a uh, 20 almost 20 years old product still it is in demand okay now whatever this you are learning that's the foundation of sales force there are so many products acquired by sales force sales force has cpq sales force has einstein sales force has commerce cloud sales force has sales cloud marketing cloud so services cloud so many products are there but whenever you want to get into that products you can get top up learning and get into that but this foundation is very much required this is a core sales force that's what you are gaining over here that's what we are talking about over here okay so in case uh, beyond this if you have any question or anything feel free to ping me somewhere you will get my uh, social media uh, contact details or my whatsapp details somewhere you will get it around this video just ping me it's not difficult to uh, find me on internet you just type sam j sales post tipco mule shop that's what my skill set my v university is my brand so you can type sam j my v university.com somewhere you will find the link of my website here you can contact me any uh time on on any any platform you know that's what okay and i already told you that who can uh go for which mode and who can go for who can spend 2.5 month who can spend only one month so that depends on totally what kind of learning nature you have what kind of requirement you do have that's what in case if you uh, want to have any more details feel free to ping me i would love to help you out or you just put the uh, comment below this video somewhere and uh, i will be helping you uh, just wanted to uh, share two things with you first thing i started free career consultancy call in case if you are confused about choosing the it skill you are coming from non it background not understanding what to do confused okay from where to start i don't have it background or so or even if i do have it background cannot decide whether to cross skill up skill how to build my career whether i will be in the support role or not whether i should get into the developer role fast whatever questions you have i would love to spend 20 minutes call with you 
free career consultancy call and that is game changer for you okay that will be game changer for you so just uh, somewhere my contact details are there you just go there and uh, check out about my 20 minutes time and i would love to connect with you and help with you that is my responsibility i do have uh, 20 years of it industry experience so that is my responsibility to help you all of you whenever you need help that is first thing second thing i started free video series on whatsapp so tipco sales post mules of idea is delivering one video once in a week uh, to your whatsapp value pack video so if you want to register for that somewhere registration link of video uh, series might be there just register there and stay connected with me life long okay so thanks for watching this video in case uh, if you wanted to know about my live program flexi mentoring program have some doubts about that then feel free to ping me feel free to comment over here whatever way comfortable for you okay i'm always around to help you guys thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video friends bye bye